Okay, so I just want to ask y'all one question. Are y'all really upset? Like, y'all really mad at this whole Cody thing for real? Here's why you guys shouldn't be upset. All the roads. <laughs> I find this hilarious. I just had to make a video on it because I'm looking at Twitter. I'm even looking in my own Discord. People are upset about Cody's decision on what it is that he's going to be doing as pertaining to Roman in WrestleMania. <laughs> it's not happening. For me, at least for me, the writing was on the wall. Once Rock came back and solidified his presence on Raw and mentioned the head of the table, the writing was on the wall. This was going to be Rock versus Roman at Mania. There's no other story. Nothing else was going to happen. So let's go over this because I know, I know a lot of you guys are saying that a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense. It makes Cody look away, etc., etc. I'm going to lay out what we have going on in this video so that I don't scare anybody away with me laughing and you feeling away about me laughing with this Cody thing. By the end of this video, I am going to pose another question as to where we think this is going to go because I have several different avenues in which Cody can take with the decision that he's made. I'm also going to throw some tweets up on a screen of people that interacted with me on Twitter and I have my Twitter link down in the description. But for now, we're here to talk about Cody. And this isn't the Cody video. I still do have a Cody video planned. I wanted to drop it, but I had a bit of a writer's block, but this particular night helped me in which direction I wanted to go with that Cody video. And there's a Roman video coming too. So it ain't just Seth. Don't think that I just dropped my two Seth videos and I'm out. Nope, I'm still here. Now, tonight, Cody sort of kind of made a decision. I don't think that Cody fully well, he made a decision, but I don't think he fully fleshed out what his decision is. A lot of people are upset because of how the promo went. Roman came out and he downplayed Seth's title, called it the number two. Everybody that competed for that title, Roman said he's beaten them and he beat a whole bunch of number twos. So why would Cody want to go after the number two title? That's all that Roman needed to say. It makes perfect sense. He's the man. He's holding the top title. He owns everything. He's beaten and laid on everybody. If you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. Makes perfect sense. Another thing that Roman is holding on to is he has 999 total WWE wins. And that's house shows, pay-per-views, TVs. He has 999 total wins. So his next win is going to be 1,000. Cody came out and to the naked ear, it would sound as though he said, hey, I don't want to go after you at Mania. I went and got Big Brother. <laughs> I spoke to the committee and got Big Brother and he's going to be the one to challenge you at WrestleMania. However, it seems as though people are leaving out the part that Cody said where he said, Matter of fact, I'm moving my own goalposts. I want that title. I want everything. And I am coming for it. I am coming for you, Roman Reigns. But not at WrestleMania. Cody says he wants the title and he's coming for the title, but not at WrestleMania. See, everybody got hung up on the part of Cody telling, well, saying that he took counsel and he bought out the rock and he left. People getting hung up on that, but they completely are looking over the fact that Cody said he wants the title. He's coming after that title. He's going to take that title, but not at WrestleMania. So this leaves us with a couple of dis different scenarios. Now, I can understand the part of people being upset with, well, why do you have Cody win the Royal Rumble if he's just going to go after Seth, right? Because here's where I could see it going. This could go one of two ways. One, before I even go into that, 
Can I just say something? I just want to say something. I find it absolutely hilarious that Cody Rhodes, the closest baby face that we've had to Hulk Hogan since Hulk Hogan, is an absolute quitter. He decides he wants to go after Seth Rollins and his title at WrestleMania. Not the big dog title, not the title that means the most, not the not the guy that has laid on everybody and pinned everybody, took everybody out, and he's the head honcho. He doesn't want to go after that at WrestleMania. He wants to go after Seth. That makes him a quitter in my book. Makes him a quitter. He doesn't want him on the biggest stage of them all. However, there's a couple of different ways that he can go about this. Now, they say that Roman isn't booked for Elimination Chamber. However, that was before CM Punk got hurt. I believe that CM Punk getting hurt at the Royal Rumble threw a monkey wrench into everything. There was a picture floating around on Twitter where Punk was down on the mat and he's leaning outside of the ropes and he's telling the ref something and people are equating that to CM Punk telling the ref to let Cody know that he's going over and because he's hurt you know when you get to a certain age you know what hurt hurt is and you know when you ain't gonna be able to make it back so you let Cody know hey you're going over we'll figure this thing out on the fly we got plenty of time to figure it out throw me over I'm under the belief that that's possible because I thought that Punk was going to win. Punk wins, it sets up Punk Cody, I mean, it sets up Punk and Seth, and then you get Cody and Roman. Now, where does that leave The Rock, right? Well, I was also under the belief that we was probably gonna get Cody and Roman with Rock as a possible enforcer to keep the rest of the bloodline at bay. That's where I thought that they would go with it because it's like, okay, you got Roman and Cody, but you also got The Rock. What are we going to do with The Rock? We got him available for Mania. Okay, we don't really need him to be in a match. We don't need him to get hurt. He's a liability. So, all right, we can just have him be an enforcer. He's still there. We still get to hit his music. He gets to raise Cody's arm, et cetera, et cetera. He doesn't need to get involved in a match unless Uso Boy and Solo Sokoa come out and they want to interfere. Rock can lay a smackdown. The whole shebang. Boom. Rock is he's done what he's needed to do. We could get him out of there. However, Punk got hurt. So now what do you do with Seth? You can't do Seth and Goon because Goon can't go to the Elimination Chamber. So you can't have Goon win the Elimination Chamber and say, all right, we're going to have Goon and Seth. You can't have it because he can't be there. So that's dead. You have no replacement for who can wrestle Seth that's a marquee name that can make it a main event. You kind of have to move Cody over into that slot. It's the only thing you can do. And by proxy, now you get your big main event with Rock and Roman. It literally is the only thing that you can do that would make any sense. It's the only thing. So, because Punk got hurt at the Rumble, maybe it changed things and now Roman has to be available for the Elimination Chamber. This way, Cody can take on Roman at the Chamber and nah, people ain't gonna wanna hear this one. They're not gonna like this. You can have, it's possible, but you can have Cody beat Roman at Elimination Chamber. Why would you let, why would he lose his title at Elimination Chamber and why not at WrestleMania? because you still get your marquee matchup at WrestleMania. He just drops the title at Elimination Chamber. It's not a route that I will go. I wouldn't want any parts of it, but just based on the fact that Cody said, I'm, I want that title and coming after that title, just not at WrestleMania, that means he's either gonna go after it before WrestleMania or he's going to go after it after WrestleMania. Now, if he goes after it after WrestleMania, that means that he put The Rock in a place and he doesn't have faith that The Rock is going to beat Roman. Now, that's just going to be one of those underlying things that people aren't going to really talk about. They're not going to shine any light on that. But essentially, that's what that would mean if he takes on Roman after Mania. Now, 
Let's say that he beats Roman at Elimination Chamber. Let's just let's just say it's on the table. I don't think it could happen. I don't think they're going to go that way, but it's a possibility. Let's say that that happens. Well, why would we have Cody with the title against Seth with the title? Well, I mean, if you're going to have Roman and Rock, huge marquee name, and it's probably still going to main event the second night of WrestleMania, no title needed, then how do you make Cody and Seth a bigger deal? Well, we have, here's the thing, Roman downplaying the number two title, right? Seth saying, okay, this is the workhorse title. It's I'm the guy. This is the main title because that title is never being defended. And people aren't going to like this one either. But you can champion versus champion, main event WrestleMania. And that right there is a big enough title to sell. Well, WrestleMania is going to sell. But it's a big enough title of a match to put on the marquee. That's huge. That is huge. People aren't going to like the merger, but it's a hell of a thing to put on the marquee champion versus champion because I maybe this is just a me thing. I think that Seth needs to beat Cody. Cody has lost to Seth or Seth has lost to Cody three straight times. He has not beaten Cody. Hell, you can even go back to when Dusty was alive and you had Dustin and Cody, Stardust and Goldust. Were they Stardust and Goldust when they was doing that? Or were they just Dusty's boys? Whatever. You got Dusty's boys, and then you got the Shield for the tag team titles, in which Cody and Dustin beat them. Seth and Roman beat them. So even dating back then, Seth has not beaten Cody. At some point, Seth has to get his one up -ins. Now, you put the title on Cody, and then have him lose to Seth. It's like, oh my God, he just got the title. He's doing all of this whole, the whole baby face thing, yada, yada, yada. Well, that leaves us to this other issue. Cody and his story annoys the hell out of me. Why can't Cody have his own story? Why is Cody's story about getting the title that they took from his father? At some point, who's going to be the one to break it to Cody? Hey, Cody, your father never won the title. He beat the champion by count out. Title doesn't change hands on count out. Who's going to be the one to break the news to him? You know what? I blame his brother. His brother didn't raise him right. His father was on the road. Maybe Cody wasn't watching the tapes. Maybe Cody wasn't alive. I don't know what year it was. But what I do know is nobody told Cody the truth. And they had this boy living a lie his whole life. Now he wants to finish some story that doesn't even exist. Your father was never the champion. He never pinned the champion. Who's going to be the one to break the news to him? Cody needs his own story cody can lose to roman cody can lose to seth he can at some point he needs his own story everything can't with cody can't be about i'm doing this for my father's legacy well what why do we need to care about him then him meaning cody i'm a little bit perturbed here i want to understand you as the viewer what is it that you know what no because that's for the cody story that's for the cody video i was about to I was about to do a deep dive into <laughs> That's not for this video. This is purely about tonight's promo and what it led up to, the outrage, and the different possibilities that they can take with Cody. I. This is the great part about WrestleMania is where you just don't know what's going to happen. You can't predict this. Cody's supposed to take on Seth, allegedly. He didn't say he was going to take on Seth. He just says he's not going to take on Roman at WrestleMania. All right, so that, that leaves him with Seth. Got it. But Seth got to win, right? Now, if he loses to both Roman and Seth, I think that that's perfect because now we can start talking about Cody's story and Cody not being able to win the big one. Let's have a thought about this. Since Cody's came back to the WWE, how many matches has Cody lost? How many times has Cody been on his back looking up at the lights? Once. Now, I'm sorry, but aren't you guys the same ones that grew up purely despising John Cena for this same exact thing? Beating everybody, don't put anybody over, Super Cody? What the? Did we forget how that whole thing went? Now, I'm not calling you hypocrites. It's a different time. It's a different age. We have a different appreciation for wrestling. We have a different appreciation for baby faces. 
But man, one thing I haven't heard in a really long time, and it probably haven't heard it since Roman, is man, they're shoving this guy down our throats. Either Roman did a really good job at dis dispelling that narrative, or something seems to be missing because this Cody shove has been severe. All of you should be hoarse. You should have strep throat from the way that they shoving Cody down in there. Or do you guys just like saying, whoa, is that what it is? What is it? What it Somebody explain to me what it is that you like about Cody. Or is Cody going to win the title and then now all of a sudden we don't like him anymore. Now he's going to be getting shoved down your throats. At some point, you have to just take a look, just take a breather and look at what's going on. Are we not paying attention to the fact that Cody outside of Roman, let's take Roman off the table. Cody's the only one that seems to be getting the presentation of somebody that's being treated like an absolute star. You mean to tell me they can't put this presentation into anybody else to make anybody else stars? Just Cody. I mean, they put presentation into Seth, but Seth is a big old joke. We've already discussed that in two videos. I'll have it as an in, uh, you'll be able to click on that video on a end video clip thingamajig. I got to get back to used to the YouTube lingo. So pardon me on that, but you'll be able to click on those at the end of the video, how we went in on Seth. But when Cody wins this title, a lot of people are going to start opening up their eyes and realizing just how much Cody might be holding back the rest of the competition. This isn't about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cody's going to get his own video. It's supposed to be about tonight's promo. Let's talk about some of these messages that I got on Twitter. Twitter. So I asked Twitter if they was for real upset about this Cody Rock thing. Uh, we got Slick Disaster who says, I'm not mad where they're going. I'm just mad at how we're getting there. This feels like lazy booking. Nothing to sink your teeth into. Just a means to an end. See, well, that's the thing. This is now the road to WrestleMania. Everything that you're supposed to sink your teeth into is what's supposed to be coming up next on your road to WrestleMania. You've got a couple of months to work with. You're not going to get it all in one night because if you blow your load all in one night, which you had like a 15 minute segment there, like you can't cram two months into 15 minutes. You got to let this thing play out. From D Fox, you guys should check out D Fox. He does an amazing beatbox uh, on his social medias. Like it sounds like, it really sounds like radio quality or dj quality he sounds like a dj booth uh but he says we want cody not the guy from the past well he i want first off first off i want to know who we is that's what i want to know because if we want cody and not the guy from the past and that means that when rock comes out people shouldn't be responding to the rock numbers shouldn't skyrocket when the rock comes out Tickets and merch shouldn't be selling when The Rock comes out. So I got to disagree with you there. Home Supreme. Rock made Cody acknowledge him. Then said, hey, little fella, I got this. Get your little ass backstage. Now. <laughs> that boy Cody did like Hogan and Bret Hart where Bret Hart was like, Hogan, please help. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> Acknowledge me. Diario, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Diario, or is there an L in there? Nope, that's two eyes. Diario Andrew says, if you want Rock Roman, I don't know why Cody winning the Rumble makes sense at all. He randomly gives up his shot for what? Well, he's not giving up a shot. He's getting a shot at Seth. Jude Auditor says, bro, I'm laughing so hard at the people who are salty about this. I laughed for a very, very good amount of time. Soggy chimes in and says, I think it's hilarious that they're going to do this match in the same city that booed the two of them standing tall together at Rumble fi uh, 15, 2015. It's probably going to happen again because Mark's going to mark. I find it absolutely. I, I, I 1 million percent agree with Soggy. And, and that's the story right there. Last time that Roman and Rock interacted was at WrestleMania or Royal Rumble 2015, where Rock endorsed Roman. 
now to see which way that Roman went since then. It's like, hey, I endorsed you for you to come and do this to the business that I love and left in your hands. Makes for an excellent story. Absolutely beautiful. And to end it off with the tweets, we got Rockstar K, or is it Rockstar Tay? People don't realize Punk getting injured fucked up the plans they had. Realistically, Raw has no marquee match for Seth with Punk injured. So they went with the safe bet, let Cody and Seth build up the title so that it's not seen as secondary. And to that, what I said in the video, I wholeheartedly agree. And if if Cody can go in there with the belt, hey, we could do a bit of a merger. So that's all I have for this video. I got to get to that Cody video and I got to get to that Roman video. And I have to start a whole Road to WrestleMania series. Leave you guys' thoughts, opinions, critiques, gripes, topics, whatever it is, down in the comment section below. Uh, it's definitely going to help me with any writer block that I have because I do check out the comments as you see I respond to probably about 90% of them and that gets my mind going and where I could take other videos you know and who knows maybe your comment can spark the next video down in the description we have all of my social medias and if you want to help contribute to the channel I will have links for that down in the description as well drop a like on the video we're doing likes again and until next time, peace.